Uh, I had one of the best seats in the house a few hours ago, and when you walked back up the aisle as man and wife, Helen, you were glowing. Absolutely <laughs> beautiful. It was wonderful. Um, I'd also like to say a quick thanks to the Reader and Bradley families for all their hard work putting this together, um, and hospitality as well. Um, and we're all having a great time, I think. Mm -hmm. So now on to Chris. Uh, there is. I've known Chris since we were about knee high, or maybe even smaller. Nobody's totally totally sure. <laughs> um, growing up, we played sports together. <coughs> we played music together. We worked together. Um, we went our separate ways for college, and then we lived together in Colorado, where you would later meet Helen. Before I moved to Colorado, I was visiting Chris during the summer, and his sister Stephanie happened to be visiting as well and she's an avid hiker. So Chris decided to take us up Mount Albert, <laughs> which is the highest peak in Colorado, one of the highest in North America. <laughs> Sounds very intimidating. Um, the trail Chris picked actually uh -huh. is a very easy day hike. Any active healthy adult should have no problem. <laughs> <laughs> I struggle. <laughs> um, I fall behind right from the beginning. And as we take our first break, I joke, Maybe I should just go back to the car. You guys can go on without me. You'll make better time. No, Chris says. We'll rest. Take your time. We'll go when you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> so we rest. On we go. A few miles further. The air is getting thinner. <laughs> you're getting heavier. Um, we take another break. Uh, this time, I politely ask if maybe they would like to go on a ride. <laughs> wait here, meet me on the way back down. <laughs> you know, Chris says, take your time, <laughs> we'll go when you're ready. We rest, on we go. <laughs> this happened several more times. <laughs> By the fifth or sixth time, I'm not very politely. <laughs> <laughs> I will be right here, I say. <laughs> In the shade, my water, get back down. <laughs> and I think Stephanie was maybe starting to think about leaving me behind. For <laughs> but no, Chris says. Time, rest, we'll wait for you. <laughs> So we rest and eventually on we go. Sure enough, we make it to the peak. It's one of the most awesome sights I've ever seen in my life. A moment I instantly know I'll remember forever. Um, and you can tell from the story what a patient and caring friend Chris is. And patient and caring husband he will be also. <laughs> um, but I learned something more about Chris when the next group of hikers arrived to the peak. Um, it was a two person group, um, an experienced looking gentleman hiker and his daughter, uh, the cutest little eight-year-old girl you have ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> and as she smiles at the view, full of energy, after a hike that's nearly killed me, <laughs> I realized what Chris knows and what this little girl knows that I have forgotten. That this was supposed to be fun. <laughs> that without the struggle of the climb, there is no joy at the peak. <laughs> and Chris, more than anyone else I know, finds the beauty in not just the triumphs of life, but the struggles as well. So I'd like to say to you, um, in your marriage, have fun <laughs> and cherish each moment together. Mm -hmm. <laughs>